Hey guys, it's me, Alicia, and as you guys can tell by the title already and by my face that I'm over it and I'm finally going to be cutting my heat damage off. I did get some heat damage in November 2014 while I was a bridesmaid, so that is the worst type of heat damage you can possibly get when you, someone else does your hair. But anyways, I'm not here to complain. I've gotten over it, I've moved on. Um, I do want to say that transitioning is the perfect option for those those of you guys who aren't ready to get rid of that hair. Those of you guys who became so used to your hair and you have to cut it off due to a temporary style. That's the worst. Okay, if I can just say one thing, I'd say screw heat altogether. But um, I'm finally going to be cutting it. Um, for those of you guys who are interested in knowing what scissors I do use or shears, I do use a very inexpensive brand, but they're very professional. They are Japanese titanium shears, which are these right here. I got mine from Amazon. There are some much more inexpensive scissors that you can get from Walmart. I think those are like more like six or seven bucks. These are around 25. If you do want professional cutting shears that are inexpensive, these are great and I do like the fact that I did get two pairs. One I use for my hair, the other one I actually use on wigs and weaves and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, my heat damage is in the front of my hair. You know, it's in the front. It's like maybe around five inches left of heat damage here. My hair has been growing out over a year. So there is a lot of growth and I was able to retain length i've been cutting it but i stopped cutting it this year but anyways i'm gonna cut my hair i'm gonna go ahead and wash it because i want to make sure that i have no product buildup because um i know i do have a lot of moisturizer and oils on my hair but i'm gonna go ahead and wash it just so i can see what my hair the damage looks like or you guys can see it and i'm gonna cut it i'm probably gonna fast forward things because i don't want to spend too much time on this video but yes cut it looks like it's really short in the front and on top because I had some pieces on top that were kind of like not cooperating so all the heat damage is gone the front of my hair now is 
I still need to cut it some more. I'm going to do a trim in front of my hair. For now, it's here. But again, I'm going to do some more cutting because even when I do that, I'm seeing like some little straight, like straggly pieces that it's just really hard because my heat damage is curly. So this is the way my hair looks with no product in it. It's just, you know, this is my true on shrinkage. I cut a decent amount of hair. I'm gonna um, do a trimming because I have like a lot of knots at the ends of my hair. So this is the way it looks. And again, if you guys are seeing some straight pieces, just note I will be cutting them. I just can't tell right now. Okay, so I'm back and uh, I went ahead and I cut a lot more hair off. Um, yeah, I rewashed my hair after doing my chop on camera and I just noticed that I had so much more heat damage that I need to cut off. So I ended up cutting off more hair. I ended up trimming. I trimmed like a good maybe three or four inches off the ends. And I think I told you guys I was going to do that. But um, yeah, I went ahead and trimmed my ends. And this is how much hair that I have sitting here. The rest of the hair is kind of like in my bathroom. But this is the amount of hair that I cut off. Um, all damaged hair, single strand knots, heat damaged, all that. I just went ahead and, and chopped it off. And after I cut my hair, I just did like a twist out. And um, yeah, so this is like day three of a twist out. It's kind of messed up, but you know, I was just, re I was editing my video for my big chop and I realized that, you know, let me get some footage of what my hair looks like styled um, so that you guys can see how my hair falls because I think in my um, initial video after I cut my hair I was very discouraged about the way my hair looked but it actually looks good once I actually styled it this is the back of my hair my hair is still pretty long you know it doesn't fall at my waist anymore or my mid back uh, I, I would say more like bra strap length now in the front of my hair this is what I cut. It just falls at my chin. And you guys know before it actually fell like at that little hard bone there. And naturally it fell at my chin. I will be doing the uh, maximum hydration method with my, um, with my hair because um, like they say, you can always tell when your hair needs hydration based off of um, the clumping effect of your hair and if your hair clumps from the roots that's my hair and I really want to do the hydration method because I really want my roots to look clumped look how puffy the roots are and how curly the rest of my hair is like seriously yeah but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling now um yeah I'll talk to you guys later